Hi, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino. Oh, God! <laughs> that Beer was review. wet! <laughs> There's no way you're not sitting in a pile of dung right now. Cartoon and Rhino Come on. Beer. Come on! <laughs> we are drinking from the Stone Brewing Company in California, the Stone Smoked Porter. No edit point allowed. <laughs> no. 5.9% alcohol. This is, again, a uh, smoked porter. North County, San Diego. Um, stone smoked porter. So you want something dark, do you? We've got you pegged. Oh my god, that hurt. You are the type who saddles up to the bar, scanning the tap handles for something beyond the pale, fizzy, um, pabulum, who's all too familiar. Oh, fuck off. It, it, Basically, you know what? There's always funny stories on the back of stone products, but they're just way too wordy. I'm not reading it. Basically, it's making fun of people that drink normal beer. And plus, because of my eyes being so horrible, I'm not reading it anymore. And James is trying not to smell me, so he won't be reading it either. Just breathe through your mouth. Uh, uh, no. Right through your nose, it's fine now, it's gone. White's Tavern has very good circulation. Yeah. Alright, well. So. We got ourselves uh We got ourselves a very dark porter. Uh, not black. No. Nope. Very dark brown. Definitely see through it. That's fine. Very, uh, well, not very. It's a tan head. It looks mm -hmm. nice. Actually, you know what? That looks great. Mm, Look at that. Taupe. Truthfully... <laughs> Visual appeal wise, looks great in the glass. It does look fantastic. Smell as well. Mm. Says it's a smoke porter. You're not picking up too much smoke. You're picking up a lot of chocolate. Hops. I I am getting hops too, but it's it's stone. Remember. Oh, I know. King of the IPA. Yeah. I mean, Arrogant bastard ale. Oh, um, Ruination IPA. God damn. It. <laughs> Everything else you can think oh, of. Oh god, Arrogant bastard. I. But yeah, it, it does have a little hint of smoke on it. It doesn't smell like smoke as much as peat. It smells yeah. like they used peat. They didn't use, it doesn't smell like birch chips or anything no. else. It smells like peat. Fair enough. Um, I agree with that. But again, yeah, it's, it's it smells like a porter <laughs> with just a tiny bit of a... T oh, it smells too hoppy for me. I, I'm not really looking forward to this, I'm not going to lie. Here you go, Lachlan. What, 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 what have you done? I can't Let's move go. now. I can't move now. Look what you've done. I can't move now. Drink it. I have to wait now. See what you've done? I mean, a mushroom cap. There's a meniscus. You're okay. So we've all agreed on that now? Are we? <laughs> okay. The meniscus is a little the, bit the, under The, the meniscus non-believer isn't meniscus. in the room now. So. What's that? <laughs> the bit on the top is not the fucking meniscus. <laughs> what twats? You eat under the meniscus. Shut up and drink the beer. Drink the beer. Just drink the beer. Trust me. Drink the beer. I think that's a smoked porter you can appreciate. Yeah, that hops is coming through, but it's a lot softer than I thought it was going to be. Hmm. I'm not really getting a whole lot of portery uh, other than the mouthfeel. Mouthfeel? I do get a little bit of chocolate up at the forefront, and a little tiny touch of coffee and toffee, and then I get smoke and hops. The hops are hiding the smoke quite a bit. The smoke is there, mm -hmm. but the smoke's only in the middle, and then it kind of fades away to hops. Yeah, um, I would, I would, I would rather have the hops at the forefront, have it fade away to the smoke, because the smoke is what you're expecting to be on the. Truthfully, back. the more the more sips you take of this, the more the smoke takes over the hops flavor. Yeah, but the question is, do I want to get that far down my glass of beer right now? I'm not even sure if I do. It's just, it's, I think it's constructed backwards. What do you think, Lachlan? I don't mind it. The, for the bit that I've learned for like, the South Port things, like, it's not really uh, as like the, the more, like, coffee chocolate I would expect. But it's definitely there. But not in like a. Yeah, it's not as it's really not like as right traditional porter as you would think it would be. Yeah, I mean, with this brewery, I would expect an in-your-face, yeah. well, shit porter. Yeah. The, where the, the yeah. other example is what I'm currently still drinking. But that what you're holding up in your hand there, which the camera doesn't need to see because they'll know because I'll post ruination first. Yeah, yeah. What you're holding up there is 
what they're known for. They're yeah. known for their IPAs. Yeah. Um, but if you, if you know this is quite good though. Like I love the smoke is what's holding off the yeah. whole taste. Like I've been talking right now, all the hops are gone, all the malt is gone, all the coffee and chocolate and toffee is gone, and it's just a slight smoky flavor still sitting there. And it's slight, like it's not in your face, it's not anything spectacular, but it's like a peat smoke. Yep. No, yeah, the, the trying to remember the word, peat. <laughs> I was like, it's in the back of my head, I know it's there. But no, yeah, definitely there's a lot more of the smoke around, but like not a lot of the coffee or the chocolate, um, like caramel and that stuff, it's not really there in a huge abundance. You know a bit of it's there, but nothing where such as, you know, there's not, I'm seeing any no sticky lips. None of this is happening. No. No shutting down in, I must appreciate this for the next three and a half minutes before I give my bit. No, that's happening within uh, the current dude's face, which mm. is what most people will see if he's involved in one of these beers, is almost the immediate shutdown after the first sip and the slowly opening and closing his lips. It makes your tongue salivate, though. It's, it, it's a weird thing to your mouth. Yeah. Out of ten, guys. I don't think I'd still give it like a six five. Like, it's not bad by any means. Like, there's nothing like fuck this beer. It's terrible. It's just not anything that I've kind of seen or uh, grown more accustomed to yeah, when good. these kind of beers are coming in. So do six five. For me, it's just kind of fucking with me. Like I said, I think it was constructed uh, uh, backwards. Uh, I mean, uh, the order in which the flavors are happening, I think, are, are the opposite of the, of the way I think. Um, maybe this uh, because if, if they happen a different way, all the flavors are nice, and they're all there in 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 the proportions they're supposed to be. It's just in the wrong fucking order, so it's a very confusing thing for me to drink, and I'm not sure if I'm really. Uh... <clears throat> Six point five. <laughs> um. <laughs> it's like, I have a lot more to say, but fuck it. Six five. <laughs> For me, a 7 out of 10. I would buy it again, but again, as a porter itself, as a smoked porter, I'd probably put it at a 5. But as a beer, I'd put, and as a personal opinion on the beer, I'd put it at a 7. I would drink it again. I just wouldn't, I wouldn't want to look at the bottle and read that it says smoked porter. It's not really what it claims to be. Like, it is, but it isn't. It isn't, like, truthfully, we've had smoked porters from much less well-known companies mm -hmm. that have been better. And I mean, I think that's the one thing about our review that I like so much. We don't care about the hype. No, no. I and mean, it's just, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's okay. I would drink it, but it's not, oh my God. Yeah, like I've had some things from this brewery that I really, really, really enjoyed. Um, and things that I've really hated because they're so bold. I just, Ugh. just I was kind of hoping that when they made something this dark and, 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 and you know, for a smoked porter that... It would come across with you know as much punch as, as the rest of their stuff did, and I think they just kind of shook the bet on this one. But it's actually not a bad beer if you just pour it into a glass and hand it to somebody. It's pretty drinkable. Well, thank you, YouTube. Bye. Uh, uh. Oh, there's the smoke. <laughs>